Retro games are expensive. I said it. So are retro consoles. And I know what you're thinking. Just get out there and hunt them and you can find them. And I wish that was true in our area, but it just isn't. So what can you do when you want something so badly but can't seem to find? Well, at some point you either have to give up or you have to give in a little. And on today's video, we did just that. We had to give in a little. As you can see behind me, we're starting to begin to formulate and build a retro room. So what that means is a lot of our old retro games, consoles will be coming into this room eventually. Retro paraphernalia will be part of it. And the one console that we have been searching for for a long time, and this is gonna sound crazy to say out loud, is an Atari 2600 with a wood panel. Why couldn't we find this? Just so you guys don't think I'm full of it, today I went on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace to try to find an Atari 2600. And what I found was not shocking to me, but it might be shocking to you. No Atari 2600s for under $100. After looking for as long as we did, we finally found one and uh, we got it for a really good price. But there is a catch. There we have it. We have an Atari 2600 wood panel Scott's been looking for for a while. And I can't wait to get it home and see how it cleans up. It was missing the power switch. It still worked. You could turn it on and off, but it was missing that. And it was very dirty and it needed a, a total overhaul. Okay, I finally got an Atari 2600 for less than 150 bucks because that seems seems to be what everybody wants to ask for which is crazy i got this for 40 bucks um problem is my power switch is broken so guy told me the last time he tried it it works i'm gonna give it a test all right here we go moment of truth moon patrol Trusty pen. Turn this thing on. All right. Oh, look at that. That's craziness. Let's see what's going on here. Let's turn the volume up. All right. Oh. So it does work, but I think there is something. There is something twitchy with this power button. If I touch it, just a little tap. So I'm thinking maybe there's a broken solder point. See, I got nothing this time. Turn it off, back on, let me tap on it. See, there's nothing. Let me tap on it. Oh, see, look, it works again. All right, so now that I determined it does work, it's time to take it apart, see if I can get a replacement switch or possibly fix that one. And then we're gonna clean it up because there has got to be about 30 plus years of dirt on this thing. Anybody want to guess how much an Atari switch is? It's not cheap, so that wasn't an option. So we had to come up with another plan. Also, it was clear from the testing of the Atari 2600, there was more wrong with it than just the switch. We needed to open this thing up. We clearly needed to clean it out and we needed to see if we had any broken solder points. So that's what we did next. So we have a, a bunch of video clips and images of how we restored or MacGyvered this Atari back to its optimal condition. So we're gonna look at that next. Okay, so the Atari is super dirty. Time to take it apart. Just four screws in the back, that's it. Super simple. 
Now that it is apart, we're gonna check out the board and yeah, it's pretty mangled. We really need to do some work here. We really need to clean this out. Everything, the casing, the board needs to be cleaned. We're gonna put some effort into this. So now that we got that apart, let's give the, uh, the casing a good bath because it, it really needs it. And of course we can't bath this part, so we're gonna use an air compressor and spray it out. So let's clean some contacts with some isopropyl alcohol, and we're gonna use these pens to make, possibly make a switch, but no, it didn't work. So we're gonna try this instead. It's, it's a better fit, and we're gonna use the collar from one of the pens. Perfect. Yep, that's gonna work perfect. And just for shits and giggles, my husband included a couple pictures of pens he destroyed. And now we gotta clean the contact points and clean all the bits and pieces that we can before we put it back together. Really make sure that this is going to work. And as you can see, after giving it a good bath in the isopropyl alcohol, it really made a difference. It, we're gonna clean up these solder points and put everything back together. And it's gonna be hopefully restored to where we can actually see if it works. Let's try, let's try turning it on. All right, let's see if this repair job actually works. Nice. Guess I forgot to show you that the sound also works, but I have to plug in a controller and hit the button. Do, 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 do. Can't do it one-handed. So even after the Atari had a good bath in the sink, it was still really dirty. So I went ahead and cleaned it a little bit more thoroughly with some green clean. I also, once it was all put back together, thought, you know what, the finish on this could could use some fixing up. So that orange highlight around the top part of the console that kind of frames out where all your power and input switches are, I decided to refresh that and restore it. Maybe it wouldn't be for everybody, but for us, where it's going to stay in our collection and we want it to, to look really nice in the room, I decided it was worth it to put that pinstripe of orange back on the machine. What you doing now, gorgeous? I am painting that orange line back on to make it crisp again. Ooh, restoration. Restoration. Well, it's really easy to do because even if you get a little bit on the top or bottom, you can go along with your finger and just kind of wipe off that excess. It's good. It's good. I am so happy with how this orange pinstripe turned out. I don't regret doing it at all. It's definitely a personal choice, but we love the finished look of it. All told, we ended up spending $40, but you know what? Sometimes sweat equity pays off. What's your time worth? What's your, what's your money worth to you? in your pocket versus giving it to somebody else. If you're willing to do a little bit of work, you can get a good price. So this is the perfect example of that. And you know what? I regret nothing. I'm happy we have it in the room now. It's great. It looks fantastic on our old CRT TV from the 70s. It's the perfect fit in the room. I, I do it again on heartbeat. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun. Uh, you know what? We really did. We had a lot of fun putting the Atari back together and cleaning it up and just knowing that with a little bit of effort, this stayed out of the garbage heap. It stayed out of going to the dump, which I mean, I think when you're not willing to put the time in, that's what happens to a lot of these consoles and why, why not spend a little bit less and put in a little bit of effort. All right, guys, until next time, game on.